What's up, Maniacs? So in this video, we're going to go over a little bit about the uh, PPF, paint protection film that we got done on the GP3. Um, I had it done by Larry uh, at Ammo NYC. And if you haven't heard of Larry, he's all about layers and paint protection. Um, he has his own line of products uh, called Ammo. Uh, go check out his channel. I'll leave a link below to check that out. Um, if you haven't seen his stuff, then you probably watched your car wrong. So check him out. But I had uh, him and his crew uh, put paint protection film on the Mini. Um, and if you're not familiar with paint protection film, it's kind of like a, a screen protector for your phone. It's that uh, first layer of glass to defend against cracks and, and scratches. So if you crack your screen protector, you take it off, your phone's usually okay, you put on a new one. Same thing with this car. We cover the paint with this plastic film. Um, it wraps around and contours nicely to everything, and it's the first layer of defense against scratches or rock chips like that, things like that. And uh, if, if there's any damage, you, if it's not too deep, you remove the paint protection film and you apply a new one, and the paint hopefully isn't damaged in the process. The process didn't get to get recorded because of scheduling conflicts and actually had a large power outage, and I think they're still uh, out of power down where they're at, um, down in the New York City area. So uh, we didn't get to shoot as much as we wanted to. So I did get a little bit of footage at the end when I was picking up the car again. There was no power so we couldn't shoot a whole lot but uh, I asked Larry a few questions about the process and uh, I guess it is what it is. Uh, sorry about that. So yeah, here's, here's some of that footage that we were, we were able to capture. What's up guys, we're here to pick up the GP3 back from Larry at Ammo Studios. He just finished doing a clear bra installation all over the car, making it look really nice. Um, we're just gonna ask him a few questions about the process. So Larry, what was the process like to install? The first thing we needed to do is back up a little bit. We needed to wash the car first, and I did that on a live feed. Uh, I'll probably send it to you and you can put a link up sure. there or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so we washed that, and during the wash, I like to kind of walk around and really sort of feel a few things as you know there's the rock catchers in there that was a whole fiasco there i had to use a bunch of uh, compressed air because uh in the next process when you put a clear bra on the idea is to make sure that the dust is non-existent or the minimal the least amount you possibly can so i, I actually wet the floor like you know if you're at a construction site they they wet it down to make sure the dust doesn't come mm -hmm. same concept here so the first thing is i washed it during the wash i look for all these little areas specifically like this one here this was kind of a uh, interesting one where this pops up here. I don't know if you can see that, but the the uh, the molds molding here. See, how you, my finger can get under there. Yeah. That means it releases, you know, normal junk that's just everyday driving around. You get that. So we had to hit that with a power washer. So basically, when I power wash before a clear bra, this is all before a clear bra. I'm really kind of getting in all the seams because the worst thing that you you want is having something shake out while you're doing that. Now, step two is I polished it. I, did I do that on camera? I can't remember if I did that live feed or not, but I came in and I polished it all down so it looked absolutely stunning. And the reason I do that is if you have a scratch and then you put a piece of, hypothetically speaking, piece of glass over it, you just now immortalize that scratch forever. Why would you? It doesn't make any sense, right? So I polished the whole thing out. It looked absolutely stunning. And then within a few minutes, I like to power wash it again just in case any polish or anything got in there. Then we go in and put the clear bra on. Um, and so that took... Uh, Friday, Saturday, half day, Sunday, all day, Monday. Uh, Tuesday was a disaster. You can film outside. <laughs> uh, we had a hurricane, and now today's Wednesday morning. So, however many days, that was four or five days. Yeah. The clear rod. Nice. Looks good. Yeah, it looks great. And this is matte. Yeah. Different type of clear rod. See, this is shiny here. This is matte clear rod. You can actually feel it. Yep, so Larry was able to put the uh, clear bra over these carbon fiber blades mm -hmm. um, and it looks looks really great. You, could, you can't even tell. No, you can't there. even tell. So it's amazing. It's an awesome job. Um, so Larry, what was, the, what was the most difficult part of, uh, of this car? What's, what gave I you the most say, trouble? I'm going to say the wing or the blades? I would say equal or 
doing this without a cut. Mm. So there's no cut lines here, which is kind of cool. You can see there's yeah. no cut lines. And then this was a nightmare. <laughs> it's just 5,000 little areas. And especially when you get to these tips, the points, anyone who's ever done clear rod knows uh, the, the points here, because you can't, how do you, there's no place to put anything. So that, that's what makes it challenging. So I would say, yeah, this, and then probably the handles, you know, making the handle, because it's easy if you just put a line here, but obviously mm -hmm. we don't want to do that. So you have to kind of place it and play right. with it. So I would say those are the two most difficult. Mm, other than that, uh, everything was pretty straightforward. This was a thousand little cuts here, as you can imagine, because it's, it's not one big piece. Like doing, doing clear raw and let's say a big Cadillac or something, if you have one big sheet and you put it on, it's relatively easy, but when you have to cut out for all these little things, that's where it gets a little bit more challenging. Yeah, a lot of intricate cuts. Yeah. Yeah. You cut them by hand? Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, so what, uh, what should the care be for this, for this installation? What should I do to, to keep it looking clean and, and keep this uh, clear bra lasting as long as possible? Sure. The first thing I always say is the reason it usually takes a little bit longer, specifically when we do it, is I like to let it kind of have all the issues that it's going to have. And I try to do that before the customer shows up. As you know, when you came in, I had my guys and me, we were playing with this because this thing peeled up. It's totally normal, mm -hmm. but I try to leave the car here for a day or two to kind of find 90% of those. Having said that, once now that you have the car, I typically like to have a day or so of not power washing and what you're doing because you don't want to pick up anything that's maybe just starting to dry. So uh, within the next couple of days when you drive home, you know, you're, you're, everything looks good. You can rinse it down like you normally would. I highly suggest if you're using a power washer uh, to try to stay away from the exposed seams. Over time, you could like see there's an exposed seam here because it's a, it's a uh, convex sort of uh, mm -hmm. area here. Um, you don't want to take a power washer and sit there. Get you wouldn't want to do that yeah. on a car that doesn't have clear box. Yeah. But you get my point there. Mm -hmm. So you basically just do a normal power wash or a regular wash. You can wipe it down with, uh, you know, multiple buckets so a lot of people do that or in this case i use a microfiber towel and then i fold it and i only use i only use one bucket i don't know if i'm losing you here but one bucket with multiple towels yep. pull the towel out wash it wash it until the towel becomes full and then i take the towel and put it away you know, yep. not i don't throw it away i put it in a bucket Set and wash it. it later pick up a new one so i don't actually use multiple buckets anymore because so you're not reintroducing Sorry, I just put fingerprints on your vehicle. I know, right? Um, so then from there, you can use amyl hydrate and dry it down. You can put um, skin, you can put spit, you can put all kinds of, you know, you can, the moral of the story is you can treat it exactly as you would if it wasn't clear broad. The caveats are be careful with the power washer. If you do put skin or some sort of sealant on it, always wipe away from the edge, not towards the edge for very obvious reasons. Once you get it stuck in this edge, it has a chance of lifting. But m the moral of the story is, you can pretty much do everything that you would do normally, uh, and it will look great. And now you're protected for, like we talked about off camera, I don't know, seven years, five, six, seven, eight, maybe, depending how well you care for it. If you drive on the highway behind, you know, there's a lot of variables, but mm -hmm. it's gonna look like this for a very long time. The, the trick is, if you could do this quickly, every single car would have this. It's just, as you know, it takes a lot, it's a long right. time. It's, you know, it's certainly not cheap, but now you've done this, like you've just, encapsulize this car for how yeah. long you own it you know yeah pretty cool yeah, yeah. so yeah this is uh this is the car uh you guys have seen it before larry did a great job um most of you that watch my channel have seen larry's stuff but if not i'll leave a link in the description for that um, we have really fancy lights and all this kind of cool <laughs> stuff but we have no power here look we're gonna take your look at outside yeah. I don't know if we're gonna blow your whole thing out here no, we're good. See the tree down there? There's the power line. Yeah, there's my power line, and there's a tree. Yeah. That is not supposed to be there. And before he got here, there was a big tree. And so early this morning, I was uh, chopping. You can see across the street there, I was borrowing my neighbor's, uh, this his tree right down over there, too. Yeah. Um, I was chopping things down uh, just to be able to get this car out. And this one right here, we're going on a, a tour. This is a GT4 that we just did some clear rod to. So it's been a chaotic uh, couple of days, for sure. <laughs> it has, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that, that's Larry's story. Yeah, no power, so we can't show you these awesome lights, but this uh, studio is great. Check out his stuff. I use all of his products on, uh, on all my wash videos, so you've seen that before. And uh, give a like. Don't forget to wave to other minis when you see them, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks, see you Larry. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. Uh, that's paint protection film on the GP3. Um, it's finally past the breaking period, so some exciting videos coming up. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss those. Um, leave any questions or comments you have below. And as always, don't forget to wave when you see other minis. Catch you in the next one.